This video gives you a super high level of what is Red Panda. In short, Red Panda is a Kafka compatible streaming data platform that is super high in performance and super operational friendly and it's cloud ready. So what is Kafka you ask? Well, um, let's go way back. Um, say you're designing your system with a simple request and response. Eventually, when your services got too busy and got outnumbered by the amount of incoming events or requests, your client will start queuing up and congest your entire system. Eventually, things will crash and that to very unhappy users. That's why we start doing messaging. The asynchronous nature allow our clients to leave and get updates when the results are ready without needing to wait for the response. This was the messaging broker but they are typically centralized in the storage level. It's really hard to scale, and in order to scale, they're doing way too much routings, and sometimes they read too much into the payload. So when you need to process a large amount of data, this is not good enough. Kafka simply takes the event data and writes them directly to the operation system's memory cache. The data is already in binary format that the broker can store directly without needing to process the payload. And to make it scalable, it also introduced a set of Zookeeper so it could manage the centralized configurations also to help with the replication. And that goes with the scaling part. Now we have tons of device systems, applications, connectors that start jamming data into it with maybe more consuming the data as well. It is now more common that companies start introducing distributed processing engine running real-time analytics on top of the streaming platform. That means the Kafka itself, the data streaming platform, needs to be able to handle a large load. Modern computer architecture is designed to fit various styles of applications. Therefore, it sacrifices a lot of efficiency to better adopt different workload behaviors, with virtual memories to help with memory management and thread scheduling to be more flexible. The flexibility comes at the cost of idling, locking, etc., which causes latency while well, since it's dealing with a lot of unknowns. But when we know exactly what the workloads are for, we can bypass all the unnecessary mechanism and optimize it. And this is exactly what Red Panda did. Red Panda is another implementation of Kafka. Its core is written in C++ and makes use of many sophisticated performance enhancing techniques. Because of the nature of how data are streamed, Red Panda is able to minimize thread switching, bypass cache I.O., minimize memory fragmentation by taking advantage of thread per core architecture to maximize the benefit of parallel processing, pre-allocated the memories, efficient use of asynchronous disk I.O. This will harvest the most out of your hardware resource. So yes, Red Panda can handle data streaming more efficiently, more faster without over-provisioning. If you're already using Kafka, you can simply switch over to Red Panda very easily. Think of it like cars with different engines. One could run in diesel gas and the other one can run by electric. The gas paddle, the steering wheel, the gear shifts are the same, but how the car is powered and run are different. As the driver, all you need to do is switch out the car. But of course, when you're trying to build a nice luxury, super fancy sports car, you always want to make sure everything around it is up to the same level to its premium standard. There are two Red Panda tools that I highly recommend, um, RPK, Red Panda Keeper, and Red Panda Console. Let's look at RPK, Red Panda Keeper first. I can use this to quickly spin up a cluster of Red Panda, use it to communicate and configure the cluster, checking cluster health, and even kicking off auto-tuning. The UI console makes it a lot easier to visualize what's going on in the cluster. So with Red Panda Console, I can effortlessly manage and debug Red Panda workloads. I can explore topics, message in the message viewer, use filter to find the message and debug. I can also use it to send sample data into the queue where it supports popular encoding methods. Red Panda can be deployed directly on a machine, virtual machine, you know what I mean, and Kubernetes. You can automate the deployment by using automation scripts that are provided by the Red Panda team. There are Terraform and Ansible. These are all very popular automation tools to help you automate the provisioning of the cluster. In terms of deploying in Kubernetes clusters, you can choose between Helm charts and operators. Speaking of cloud, we all know disk space are expensive. The longer we have to retain the data, the more costly it is. And if this is not configured properly, there's always a risk of data loss. Red Panda stores the historical data into object stores such as Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage, and Azure Blob Storage. And it also unifies access to both real-time and historical data, meaning the same Kafka client 
can be used to retrieve data from these storages. So instead of reading from multiple sources, some could already be a process snapshot result. We'll have access to raw materials without sacrificing much performances, which opens up endless possibilities. And last but not least, Red Panda is packaged and deployed as a single binary. There's no need to add and deploy another set of management layer. The broker in the cluster handles configurations and replica with Reft, a distributed consensus algorithm. This is also later being adopted by the graph community. When scaling the cluster or dealing with unknown source of input, which is very hard to predict which broker it will get hit the most, it would very likely to cause an imbalance in partition and lead to overpopulated disks. Some nodes could be straight up idling. The cluster auto-balancing, continuous data balancing will avoid this from happening. The rec awareness and auto-tuning will make sure replicas are distributed evenly and fine-tune Red Panda based on the status of DSIO, networks, and the CPU utilization. To summarize, Red Panda has drastically simplified operation with a single binary comprehensive tooling and features. Infinite cloud storage durable, reliable replication mechanics, and most importantly, the outstanding performance. You can run more workload with less resource. Come join our Slack community if, you have more, if you're interested in learning more about Red Panda. And I'll see you next time.